Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein here with my beautiful fiance, Eva Clay. And this is our channel, the Food and Wine Life channel, where we're gonna do reviews of wine, reviews of restaurants, we're gonna have some recipes and even some fun places to travel as well. And today we are reviewing Liberty School Cabernet Sauvignon 2020. So let's get into this. Let's do it. I'm going to open this wonderful bottle of wine while the beautiful Miss Eva talks about it. Liberty School came from a winery in California called Paso Robles. It's a very good region in California, one of my favorites. Usually produces full body to a medium body delicious wines that go very well with especially especially red wines. Uh, go very well with beef, lamb, duck, and they're definitely party pleasers. So we're fixing to uncork this, and we're going to pour a glass and see where it goes. All right, let's do it. All right. So, first of all, there is almost no ring on this wine. It's definitely ruby red. It's not too dark. It's not too heavy looking right now. So, that's what I would say about the color. What do you think, Michael? Yes, I definitely think it's a uh, medium um, color. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've definitely had some that are way darker, but it's not real thin or anything and looks beautiful in a glass. So let's give okay. it a smell. Let's okay. See let's see. Let's see what the aromas are. Let's open it up a little. Oh, the first nose I get is like really, really dark cherry, like pungent dark cherry, but probably because it didn't air out yet. So I'll give it a little bit more time to air out. Yeah, I can actually smell the wood in it. Yeah. Yep. Like more oaky. Yeah, or definitely. Cedar. Yeah. Or it, yeah, definitely some type of wood touch. Yeah. Now. That's probably cedar oakiness. Yeah. Yeah, but I do smell I, the cherry as well. Yeah, I smell the vanilla. Um, it's like very cherry, vanilla, oaky, cedary. Definitely black currant too. It's, and I know that's one of your favorites. I know. I'm from Europe. We love black currants there. So jellies and pastries and all right. that with it. So yeah, let's let's try and see how it tastes on the palate. Cheers. Cheers. Na zdrowie. Wow. That's very smooth. That is very smooth and it hasn't even aired out yet. Yeah. I mean, that is very, very smooth and wow. Mm -hmm. We haven't tried this one in a minute. This yeah. is mm -hmm. definitely good. Yeah. Definitely has, um, you can taste the tannin and it has very dry finish, I would say. Very clean, clean in this in the front, very clean in the front tasting. And very peppery, uh, spicy at the end and and dry. Yeah, it's definitely it's very easy to drink. Very drinkable, very drinkable. Yes, and it's, it is very smooth. Mm -hmm. And I can see this going with a nice medium rare steak for yeah. sure definitely it has dark fruit definitely dark fruit vanilla the dark fruit in front is is really like it like invites you in well now that it's had a chance to air out mm -hmm. i mean it's aired out like within a couple of minutes yes and it's definitely i mean it's great yes it is it's has definitely a little spice Oh, it's opening out beautifully within minutes. I mean, within within two, three minutes. Mm 
a lot of crushed pepper but it's not like overpowering crushed pepper it's just enough to tease you right yeah because I, yeah i don't really like super peppery wines and this is actually very good and uh i forgot about this one so we definitely need to put it back in our roster our regular drinkers i know mike is a big fan of the liberty school reserve the blue label yes that is awesome and um i'm still trying to find it around here on the gulf coast but as soon as i do i'm going to get a couple bottles and do a review on mm -hmm. it so yes so this wine is uh it's a great buy it's around 16 bucks give and take it depends on the store that you buy it in i'm sure in some other states and some other stores it could be up to 20 i would understand that would be up to 20 yes, in yeah, some places um it's it's a bargain for what it is i think oh yeah i definitely forgot about it because i mean after tasting it tonight again it is definitely going back in the roster 100 percent yeah of our rotation of mm -hmm. wines and uh oh yeah this would be delicious with that uh, mohawk steak you make and oh yeah the that tomahawk be, steak yeah, yeah that would be phenomenal with that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that would definitely be good with that yeah. or even just like a mm -hmm. filet mignon or, or wagyu uh, like a juicy wagyu steak yeah with, but mm -hmm. i would actually use this wine with anything pretty much yeah this this is very drinkable it would be great with like a dark chocolate dessert too like some kind of dark chocolate right. cake and this is definitely this is definitely a step up and, and it's act definitely a value for the um price point yes in my opinion i want to taste it again yes let's do it yeah oh now it opened up and we're like into f about five minutes since we opened it i can seriously smell the sage it's beautiful it's beautiful that sage nose after it really opens up it's it's something that's very nice that's very nice surprise yep so yeah that um this would, would be also great i'm sorry i interrupted you this would be also great with a lot of vegan dishes like with portobello mushrooms and uh farro uh grain would be great with it because it's kind of warm and thick and this would offset that warmness in the farro um like great farro salad with portabella and carrots and lo, you know maybe not for vegans but for vegetarians with la cottage cheese would be wonderful what about seafood? walnuts um with seafood i would do like a tuna steak like a spicy more like spicy kind of seafood even cajun would be awesome with this that sounds good to me <laughs> i know I you love, love, love your cajun food yeah we can make gumbo or mm -hmm. shrimp and grits or yeah that would be great with jambalaya that. or mm -hmm. any of that so. yes true 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 so. also um barbecue dishes would be good great with barbecue right that would be good yes too. and it's... it would be like nice to have like homemade uh mac and cheese and some barbecue brisket and you know little cornbread and go with that theme that would yeah. be great too if you wanted something like right or more down to earth even a hamburger true oh hamburgers would be great with that yeah. mm -hmm. i mean a good hamburger yeah on a grill would be mm -hmm. great on it yes so true 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 yeah i definitely like this wine um i don't really know how to give a real high number give a number on it but it's definitely phenomenal and um uh, it's phenomenal for the price point that's definitely sure. and i would definitely mm -hmm. highly recommend it and so this is going to conclude our little uh review on this but um I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you all have any comments or if you enjoy it too, just leave it in the section below. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.